real quick, um, just to go from being more in a clinch position to something a little bit different. Um, one of my favorite techniques to do, this actually comes from Kali, is a, a short elbow. I'm not gonna get into exactly how to do this elbow right now, but it's normally done into the chest or into the face, but it's just kind of a circling motion. I like to do the same thing if somebody gets me in a clinch and gets my head down. Uh, I, I try, if he gets me in a clinch, here, his hands are not crisscrossed. They're, look from behind. All right, so he's got his hands like he's clapping. Or he can grab the back of my head and grab onto his hand with his other hand, like this. Uh, and it makes it difficult for me to keep my head up. If he's got gloves on, this is probably easiest. But without gloves, I'm certainly not crossing my fingers because it'll break my fingers normally. So he's going to grab in here. I'm going to try to keep my head up and stay high. But there are times he just he's overpowers me. He gets good leverage here, and he just takes my head down. Uh, and now I've got to worry about his knees coming up and hitting me in the face. Um, from this position, he's got several different knees that he can do, but if he lets go of a hand, I'm going to feel that. As soon as he lets go of a hand here, my head is down, as soon as he lets go, I'm going to come in. So I'm ready for one of the hands to loosen up. If his hands don't loosen up, he cannot hit me. Now, what he can do here is he can bend an arm and elbow me. So he'll bend it, pull it in, and elbow. But again, as soon as he releases here, I'm going to feel that. So I want to try to get a hand up or my arms to the inside if I can. But if I can't, here's what I'm going to do. He takes me down. My face is down low. I know that this knee is coming. And normally what you'll do is you'll kind of cross here. Or if he knees up, uh, give it a brace here or brace on the other side. What I'm going to do this time, this works amazingly well, is as he comes up, I'm going to let him run into my elbow. So I'm going to anchor it here on my shoulder, like I'm grabbing my, my joint here. I'm going to point my elbow at his knee, and I'm going to let him run his thigh into my elbow. I promise if he does that one time hard, he will not do it again, because it's going to hurt. He's going to put a big knot in his thigh. If I can get him, if I get a knot in one of his thighs, I just won the fight, because he no longer has a really good balance position, a good foundation to throw his hands. He's not going to be able to throw this leg very well because it's kind of swollen and knotted up. And he's not going to be able to hold his weight on it because, again, it's all knotted up. So what I want to do is, if he takes me down, again, I'm feeling for his arms to let go so he doesn't re-chamber and choke me or something like that. I'm feeling for that. I'm waiting for something like that. But when the leg comes, I'm going to anchor and just let him drive his thigh into my elbow. Either thigh doesn't matter. He comes with the other thigh. Here. So that's, that's probably one of the easiest things to do. So that's what I'm after. That's what I want to start with. If he throws a thigh, or if he throws a knee again, I'm going to slap it. This is a, just amazingly easy. So as soon as he throws it in, here, and I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to take him with this. Here, he locks up, he pulls me down, he throws that knee. I'm out. And you notice that as his hands are around my head, here, I'm going to come down and out of that. And I want to stay close because I'm going to take him down. I'm going to go into some uh, some grappling from here. He reaches in, he clenches up, he throws it. I'm out. I've grabbed one leg. I'm immediately going to grab for his other leg. Take him. Down. time. He clenches up. Wham! I hit him. He knees. Boom! Ow, that hurts a lot. He knees. I'm out. Take him. Get him. Ankle. Oh! Oh my gosh. Can't get him to tap. It doesn't look like. 